Today we have a two-digit divisor. Uh, the process is the same. Uh, the biggest difference is we're scout, uh, skip counting by 37 this time instead of a single-digit number or something that we're familiar with. Uh, I do not. I don't have my 37s memorized either. So we just have to come up with a game plan of how to attack this problem. Again, we're skip counting by 37. So how many times do we have to count by 37s to divide into this number? Uh, I'm going to look at my first number, which is 6. Can I skip that count by 37s and get to 6? No, 37 is too big. So I have to use two numbers. In this case, it is 69. I have to count by 37s and get into this number. Uh, there's not a real rhyme or reason how to do this. Uh, some of you all with better number sense, you all might have your own strategies. Uh, I usually look at this first digit, the three, and I ask myself, how many times will it go into six? Well, I can skip count by threes to six twice. So off to the side, I might take 37 times 2 and see what that is. Uh, 7 times 2 is 14, carry my 1. 2 times 3 is 6, plus 1 is 7. So 2 times is 74. Well, 74 is larger than 69. It is too big. So I can't do it twice, so my only logical explanation is once. So I'm going to put my 1 directly above the 9. 1 times 37 is 37. And we're going to subtract 9 minus 7 is 2, 6 minus 3 is 3, and then I'm going to bring down my 2. Uh, one thing to pay attention before you bring down that 2, forgot to mention, but you all see how my remainder is 32 and that it is smaller than 37. That means I'm good to go because 37 would not go into this. If you subtract and your remainder is larger than whatever you're dividing by, this number wouldn't be big enough. So we would have to ex make it larger so that we could not have a remainder that's bigger. All right, sorry about that. So we brought down our two. So now we have 322. Uh, again, how many times will 37 go into that? Well, I know that 10 times, 37 times 10 is 370 and that's too much. Uh, so I'm looking at this, I'm thinking it's probably going to be 8 or 9. Uh, so I might just write off to the side here, 37 times 8, just to see where we're at. So that's 48.56. Uh, 8 times 3 is 24, plus 5 is 29. So that's 296, which is 8 times. Um, I'm going to go ahead and check and another 37 and see what that is. So 6 plus 7, this is adding, 6 plus 7 is 13, carry my 1, is 10, 13, carry my 1, is 333. Well, that is too big. So it must be the times 8. Again, 8 times 7 is 56, carry my 5, 8 times 3 is 24, plus 5 is 29. So we subtract. I have to regroup. 12 minus 6 is 6. 1 minus 9 I can't do. I'm going to regroup. 11 minus 9 is 2. I have a remainder of 26. So it's R26. Uh, those of you all that want to check that real quick, uh, we can take 18 times 37. I'm just going to scoot down here a little bit so I have some room. I'm going to take 18 times 37. Got to scoot down a little bit more so you all can see. Uh, that would be 56, 24, 29. This would be 37. Add, carry my one. And then I'm going to add in my remainder. Sorry, my remainder is 26. So I'm going to add 26 to this. 6 plus 6 is 12. 7, 8, 9. 692 would be my answer, and as you can see, 692 is what we started with, so 18 remainder 26 is correct. This time I'm skip counting by 66. Uh, 66 will not go into 5, 66 will not go into 54, but 66 will go into 643. Uh, and again, I just kind of look at my first number, 6. Well, it won't go into 5, but it will go into 54 9 times. Uh, but I think 9 might be too big. So I'm going to start out with 8. So off to the side, I'm going to see what 66 times 8 is. 8 times 6 is 48. 
8 times 6 is 48 plus 4 is 52. So it's 528. Uh, that's pretty close. So I'm going to put my 8 up there. I know 8 times 66 is 528. So I'm going to write 528 below. I'm going to subtract. I'm going to have to regroup this. 13 minus 8 is 5. 3 minus 2 is 1. And 5 minus 5 is 0. Now, right now, my remainder is 15, which is smaller than 66, so I'm good. Again, if this was larger than 66, I would have to change this to a 9 to get a bigger number so I didn't have a remainder that was bigger than my divisor. I'm going to bring down my, 50, my 5, so now my number is 155. That is a 5. I'll try to fix that here. Camera's blocking it. 155. So again, I'm going to take my 6. How many times will it go into 15? Uh, I'm going to try twice. 66 times 2. 6 times 2 is 12. Is 13. Uh, that's pretty close. So my I'm going to use 2, which I know 2 times 66 is 132. Uh, 5 minus 2 is 3. 5 minus 3 is 2. 1 minus 1 is 0. So I get an answer of remainder... 23. Now to check this, I'll scoot over here. I'm going to do 82 times 66. 6 times 2 is 12. 48, 49. It's going to be 492 again. I'm going to add. Carry my 1. It's 54, 12. My remainder is 23. I have to add in 23 of my remainder which is five, okay, sorry, uh, five, four, three, five, which matches my five, four, three, five. So 82 remainder 23 is correct.